Hi, this is Eric Knapp with Nitro Security. I'm going to do another short demonstration of NitroView Enterprise Security Manager, this time focusing on the risks and threats that can be detected associated with authentication and access, and user identity in general. Now, the easiest way to do this is, again, we're going to go to our normalized event dashboard. Now, one of the benefits of having a normalized event taxonomy within a sim is that it's very easy to categorize and therefore manage specific types of events. Now, in this case, if I'm looking at authentication events, I choose authentication events. I also have access events. Looking at authentication, I can see more specific detail. If I click on password, for example, I'll see some of the highest indication, indications of risk in many companies, and that's that weak passwords are in use. Now, in this case, these are passwords that are used in application traffic that's being observed by the NitroView application data monitor. So we can tell that the passwords are all lowercase or that they're too short. We can also detect the instance of plain text passwords used outside of the home network. That's a very important one that a security analyst would most likely want to follow up on. If I look at access level events, let's see, in this case, I see some IPS denies. I also see um, some audited access from probably, yes, the NitroView database monitor, which is showing specific database access activity. In this case, um, audited database login activity from Oracle, so let's see, MS SQL, Sybase, um, and DHCP. Now, another way to talk about risks and threats associated with identity and how to manage those is to talk about correlation. Now, correlation takes patterns of events and uses those patterns to indicate a, a more serious risk or threat. And when you apply user context to correlation, that becomes very powerful. Now, to illustrate this, I'm going to open up our correlation rule editor and I'm going to create a very simple correlation rule. I'm going to say any event that occurs which falls under the taxonomy of an authentication event. I could go more granular with that by drilling into the taxonomy, but for the demonstration purposes, I'll leave it at the top level of just an authentication event. I'll add an AND gate, and we'll add one more condition. This condition will be that the source user is in a list of known terminated employees. Now, this is a statically manually defined variable created by myself. Um, if you're using Active Directory, you also have access to all of your Active Directory groups. But again, for the sake of demonstration, we'll use terminated employee variable list. So now I have a very quick correlation rule that says if I see any authentication activity from a terminated employee, I want to be notified. Now we can make this a little bit more interesting. We can add some more conditions. We can say a terminated employee authenticates or Perhaps the source user is in a list of authorized administrators. Now, why would I want to be alerted about authentication occurring from authorized users, or authorized admins in this case? Well, I may be very concerned if my admins authenticating but they're authenticating with additional conditions in this case the time of day is not within normal business hours
So there we have a very simple correlation rule. Ultimately, it's based, it's based on a simple authentication event, but the additional parameters allow me to be notified when very specific conditions occur, all of which might be of consideration to me.